Tyler. And we're the Drink Testers. Welcome back to our channel. Thanks for stopping by and continuing to support us. Uh, so today we have three wines that we're testing. Uh, they're from Portugal, uh, which is going to be interesting. Haven't had too many Portuguese wines. Uh, they're all 13% uh, exactly, and they're all around the $10 range. Uh, or, or at least they are in our region at the LCBO. Um, so we're going to start today with the... Uh, Greo Vascal, uh, it's a 2020, and again, it's 13%, and they're describing it as a ruby red, plum berry, fruit, aromas, and flavors with leather nuances, not sure what that means, um, and it's a medium to full bodied with a prolonged finish, a versatile wine, it's ideal with an, uh, uh, to accompany light dishes, cured meats, and cheeses. That sounds good. Oh, it is very dark. It is a very dark wine. Yes, I'm getting that plum, uh, that dark plum color right off the bat. That's very, very nice. Very deep, almost purple. There's still a halo too. I find all the wines we've tried have had that halo. Mm -hmm. So, I remember you saying, oh, you want to try, try it now? No, no, go, go ahead. I remember you were mentioning that it's a uh, medium to full body. Remember last time we were trying to figure out what that meant? Right. Yeah. We actually figured it out. So... A full-bodied wine, it contains the highest con highest alcohol content, and they're they're fuller in the mouth. So basically, um, they usually pair uh, more appropriate with paired with uh, rich and fatty foods like steaks or cre a creamy pasta. I didn't even think creamy pasta and oh. a red wine would go good together. Well, yeah, with the, the heavy cream. And oh, stuff. fair yeah. enough. And then they also pair well with um, the reason why with rich and fatty foods is that they cut the fat and complement the rich the rich flavors. Now. What they consider uh, a medium bodied is between the alcohol contents of 12.5 and 13.5. They're considered medium bo uh, bodied. So they're good examples for a medium, it would be a, a Somno Blanc, a Pinot Grigio, or even a Rosé. Um, the wines that are above the 13.5, they're, they're like, some of those would be like the Merlots, the, uh, the, the Mal Malbec, is that how you say Malbec. Yeah. Malbec. Yeah. And then um, the Cabernet Sau Sauvignon as, as well. So those... We finally figured out the terms. We gotta try some more Malbecs. I don't think we. Ever, I don't think we ever had. Uh, we have at restaurants, but I don't think we oh, actually okay. bought a bottle to, to try. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's. Yeah. Let's Cheers. dig in here. Cheers, Cheers. guys. It smells delicious. It smells really good. Oh. I'm not 100 percent sure about the flavor. It's different. It's good. It's very, um, it's very strong. Um, you can, yeah. Very it, strong taste. Uh, this would go really well um, with some desserts. Uh, something I think really I'm, fatty, like a, like a cream cheese or a, a cheese in general. I honestly would have this with a cream pasta, I think, yeah. just to kind of cut down the, um, the strongness of the alcohol. It's really. It's really, it's not bad. I, eh. It's not bad at all. I definitely get the plum taste. Uh, I'm not getting any of the leather. I don't even know what they're what are they, referring what to by that. Something else for us to look up now. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I've never had a wine referred to as a leather oh. before. Okay. What's a cured meat then? A cured meat would be like our, um, you know, the the the, um, the salami that we've got. Oh, in the okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, the, um, that would make sense. It'd yeah. be like a sugary board. Yeah, exactly. That actually makes. This would go really well with that. Um, this is an easy, I'm finding it a very easy drinking wine. Um, it goes down easy, you're right. That yeah. doesn't give you like that weird, sometimes wines will give you that really bitter aftertaste. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, not getting that. I'm not getting it at all. Um, that I, could be maybe what they're referring to as the leather. Could I be. I don't know. I find it a little drier. It's Yes, it's dry um, for sure. Which isn't horrible. The color is very, very it's nice. Very, it's very it's, dark. It's a nice plum color. Yes. To me, this is plum. Yeah, this is, uh, a, a lot of wines have said that they've, Tasted like plum, but this one is you can you, you can, can really you can get it. you can get the hints of it. So what would you give this? So again, back to my rating game. Yep. I'm gonna give this one a four. Ooh. I actually would buy this again. I agree. We have a tie. It's a four as well. Yes. So we've got an eight for this an one. Eight for this beautiful so bad boy. This um yeah I'm I'm pleasantly surprised by this. Mm -hmm. um, so far we have not been disappointed with Portugal. This no. is a great wine. Um. It's a little harder to drink than your average uh, everyday smooth uh, red blend, 
but this is very, very good. It comes down quite easy. Yes, I, uh, I like it. I do enjoy it. Portugal, A, you have some good stuff. <laughs> very good. And yeah, it's, I would say it's pretty, they're right. It's, it's versatile for sure. Um, it, it, can could, go, it can go anyway. Yeah, it could, you could eat this with just a, a nice steak. Uh, but they're right. I think it would go best with uh, some fatty dishes like cheese, uh, the cured meat salamis, mm -hmm. pepperonis, things like that. I was thinking like even a chicken Alfredo. Oh, it would, it go, would good go with an Alfredo really sauce. It would go really good with Alfredo. Yeah, yeah. That was my first thought. I'm, I'm, I like Alfredo sauces. So that one's definitely a, a winner in our book yeah, so that's far. A, that's an eight. That's nice. an eight. That's not bad at all. That's a, that's a good score. Very good score. And yeah, this one again was um, 2020. So, so it's not year. that old. It's only no, a couple years. Yeah, so Plus. it's not, not very old. Uh, should we try the next one? Sure can. Okay. So our next one is? So this one, if I'm saying it right, I'm going to try and pronounce it. Animus Doro. It's a 2019. Uh, it's made by Vincent Faria. This is, uh, they, they say it's an always reliable, great value red. It, it's spiced, oh, jammy, it's dark like plum again. Red. Dark plum again with bright blue fruits. Um, it's full bodied and they recommend um, it, it stays fresh with bright uh, acidity and remarkably moderate alcohol. There you go. That's a really dark one as it's, well. It's darker, a yeah. little bit darker than the last so one. So both wines are, are very uh, plummy, it looks like. Which is so there great. it is there. Mm. So. I like the smell on this one a little better. I like the other one smell better. Mm. This one I can tell is going to be a little bit more fruity right off the bat. Let's hope it's not too sweet at for least, you. Um, at least the bouquet is, is, is saying that. Shall we? Cheers. All right, here we go. Ooh, much harder to drink. Yeah. Mm. There's something about it. Uh, yeah. It's like, um, I actually don't mind the drinking of it, but there's just something about it that I can't figure out. Uh, my nose deceived me. I thought it was going to be a little bit more fruity and and uh, and smooth and and mellow, but very um acidic -y. yes very acidity like biting my tongue uh, it, it yeah. nips you a little bit yeah this would be good on a cold day just like warms you right up <laughs> yeah i um uh, yeah i was not expecting that interesting it's not horrible uh, i would disagree i think it's horrible but oh. <laughs> sorry <laughs> i well, uh, honestly being honest. i'm gonna be honest i can't even finish it Sorry guys, sorry uh, Vincent uh, Faria, uh, you not a fan. Not get a me fan. a glass then. Cause I'm going to have to get another glass. You're going to have to get another glass. Sorry guys. I uh, I'm guess I'll be out. finishing this bottle I'll alone. One, I'll try one more sip Come on. for you guys. Just one more. Try it. Mm. Oh. I think I already know what his right score is going to be. Right on the I tongue, think I know what his just... score is going to be. So, Tyler, what's your score on That's this a, bad boy? It, it's a sour, um, pungent, um, it's just taking over my tongue. Mm -hmm. uh, there's but no I fruitiness to it. There's, get no what he's getting. there's nothing, um, there's nothing I like about that at all. It's very, but very I, I get the taste I'm going in with one right off the bat. I would give oh. this a zero if I could. I can't even finish it. Well, I'm going to do a three. Oh, okay. I'm going to be neutral. neutral. Well, you just can have my, my glass there. Oh, so I had a feeling you. that was coming. You need to get me a new glass then. I will need to. Yeah. He will. He will because it's... The smell is really nice. I actually like the smell of it better than the other one, but the taste is awful. 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 Do you want to grab a glass then, please? Grab least. two just because I'm not going to chug this. Are we going to do fresh glasses? Yeah, I'm just not going to chug it. Yeah, that's pour, all. Pouring them a little high. Sorry about that. I'll, I'll lessen a little bit. I learned my lesson. All right, let's try this. One. I'll lessen it for us this time. Thank you. No problem. Sorry. That's okay. All right, let's just get that out of the way. I'm gonna put this. Oh well, it happens, right, folks? You can't win them all. So so far, one, one yes, one no. Can't so win them all. what is the score with that? I had to that give was it a, a one. That if was I a four. I would have given it. It was a four because I gave it a three. Okay, so a four. So it's still neutral, no matter what. So that's okay. It happens. You can't win them all. Hey, everyone has their own taste. I know what I like. 
she knows what she likes. Sometimes we don't agree. Um, a lot of times we don't agree certain things, though. Yeah, so... Um, but it, it is fun, though. It's fun to yeah. kind of debate it. The smell on that one's incredible. That's but I get the, the taste of both the plums. I like it. it. It's weird. Oh, oh, I don't know. Uh, the taste. I'm not going to argue. The taste. Shall we continue on? Of course. Yes. All right. So we're on our last one today. So again, we're doing three for you guys from Portugal. And this one, again, uh, is a 2019. And it's called a Passion Reserva. Uh, and again, deep ruby in color uh, with a medium full body, balanced acidity and soft tannins, bright aromas of red fruit, vanilla and spice, vibrant flavors of cherry, plum again, and blackberry with soft oak undertones uh, leading to a warm finish. Yeah, I've noticed all of these have had plum, yeah. which of course makes it a nice dark wine. I wasn't getting any of the plum on the other one. I was just getting overpowering acidity on my tongue. Uh, so, so it is definitely got that yeah. ruby look. It's another dark one, yeah. See? Again. Definitely has that dark look. Yeah. Oh, it's got a stronger, stronger it's alcohol red. smell to me. Let's get this going. Yeah, so all of these today are 13%. But you can smell it on this one though. Hmm. Yeah, this one is uh a lighter bouquet for sure than the the one that uh, I rated the one. So we have soft soft oak. You don't you're not a fan. I'm not usually. a fan of the oak. I don't like yeah. when they put the oak chips in. Um, but it may it may work. Surprise. It yeah, might work. You maybe, never know. It might not be overpowering. So we'll do cheers for the last one, guys. Cheers. Oh, I get the oak as I swallow. But. I'm getting the vanilla. I get, I get the cherry. The cherry, yes. I yeah. really get the, the I'm cherry. I'm not getting any of the plum. I'm getting the cherry, the vanilla, the oak. Um, but I don't get the blackberry either. It's very subtle. I think it's, yeah. But it's actually a lot. No, I'm going to say it. It was a lot better than the second bottle. Yes. This is drinkable. This glass. I'll be able to drink this. Yeah, this, I'll agree to that part. Even though the, the second bottle, I didn't mind. I, um, yeah, this one's not bad. I definitely get the cherry. It almost kind of, um, it's a Swedish cherry, like a sweet cherry, almost like a maraschino A maraschino cherry? Yeah, almost a, a sweeter maraschino cherry. That could be the blackberry too mm. mixed with it. I would like to have lamb with this. I don't know oh, why. That would a be nice good. piece of lamb. Lamb would go good. I don't know why. And I don't eat lamb often. Uh, this wine is not overpowering at all. It's a nice, nice It's wine. got a nice halo. You can't see the halo on the camera, unfortunately. So sorry about that. But it's got a nice little halo around it. And the lag on the glass, it's really, like, it's long. This is the, um, out of the three for, for the smell is the least. I'm not getting a lot of smell from it. To me, I get, like, the alcohol but, smell. Yeah. But the taste isn't bad at all. No. As we continue to keep going. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you're right. Uh, this would... Honestly, guys, this would go good with pretty much any food. Uh, it's a very mellow wine. It's not overpowering in anything, really. Um, I, even the oak, I'm not even tasting much oak. I get it just as I, as it goes down. And normally you can get the oak like that. Yeah, some And some usually wines if you are, taste it, like, like if it's too harsh for him, he will not drink it. He'll just like, nope, done. Yeah, some wines make me feel like a beaver. I'm just... Eating oak, basically. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, <laughs> it, that's kind of what it's like. It, they they just put too much um, too much oak chips in or something, or it's just aged too long in the barrel. Could have sat in the oak barrel too yeah, long. Just absorbed way too much wood flavoring. Um, so, what would you give this one, Jim? Mm. I'm gonna be a neutral. I'm gonna say three. I agree. <gasps> we got a like six. A three, so a six. So a six isn't bad. Not bad. It's not bad. Mm. Six out of ten is not. Not horrible. Wouldn't buy it again, um, but overall, it's drinkable, it's tolerable. Um, Absolutely. And it's, yeah, it's not bad. Uh, I'm a big fan of these Portuguese wines. We need to try some more. Yeah. Absolutely. The, the plum is And the, the price is, is right. Nice. Yeah, so what I find interesting is the Portuguese wines uh, are cheaper than our Ontario wines. Yeah, our Ontario wines are like... dollars. They were like, what, 12 to 13 yeah, 15 12, even. Yeah, uh, most Ontario wines are going for 12 to 14 bucks. Uh 
These ones are what, eight to ten bucks? Yeah, it's like, like eight to ten, something cheap, like that. Yeah, I don't understand. And it. like the alcohol content is high. Yeah, these. Yeah. Um, so it's it's overall, I say Portugal's a win for us. Yes. We're gonna be reviewing some more of these bad boys. I want to see what their whites are like. Oh, that's a good idea. Because their whites. We gotta start doing some yeah, more whites. Yeah. We haven't done a white yet. So our grand champion today out of Portugal is nice. our first one with a score of eight. Eight. And then the second runner up for the silver medal was a six and not bad at all. And then our unfortunate, which I still like, is this guy. Sorry. Run away, run away. No, run. don't do that. Away. Try it to see. You never know. Your palette could be different than his. Save your money. Save your money. Anyway. All right. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Thanks Remem for watching. Remember to always like and subscribe. Let us know what you want to see. Just give us some love and say, hey, we, we would love to hear where you're from. But always remember, just like and subscribe to see more of us. Take care and drink responsibly. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.